So people all the time say, oh, if you only knew Hillary Clinton the way I know Hillary Clinton. Well, it's really hard to get to know me or any candidate. And I would be asked questions like, well, why are you really running for president? I didn't hear Marco Rubio or Ted Cruz or Bernie Sanders ask that question as though there was something hidden or, or, or so unusual about a woman stepping forward and saying, you know, I think I could be a good president. I hope you'll support me. So I do believe, and in this chapter called On Being a Woman in Politics, right. that we have to come to grips with the endemic sexism and misogyny. Of course, it's not just in politics. It's in business. We've right. seen a lot of that coming out of Silicon Valley, and it's in the media. It's in culture. We know that. But in politics in particular, where um, now some of my former colleagues and friends in the Senate are being attacked, and they're being attacked in very uh, sexist ways. You know, Elizabeth Warren told to, you know, sit down and basically shut up, don't persist. Kamala Harris being attacked. Mm -hmm. Kirsten Gillibrand talks about being manhandled by fellow members of Congress in the gym. You know, I want to blow this up so that people have to confront it, and then maybe whoever comes next won't have to face it as much.